a couple of swans over there. They're just right in the uh, basking right in the sunshine where the sun hits the water. Don't know if we'll be able to get them on on uh, on film for you guys or not. We've got a boat that's been coming in. Probably been out for the day. Been a beautiful afternoon today. Might go and have a cup of tea with my my mate who's a, a member of here. At the uh, you can go in and have a, have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Uh, doesn't doesn't cost you anything once you've paid your membership. You can overlook the river um, every day if you like for the whole year for 50 bucks. Go up and have a meal. Pretty pretty damn good. Beautiful day walking their dogs. It's almost May. Sensational. It's been about 26, 27 degrees today. Blue sky, crystal clear waters. I'm sure other parts of the world would love to have uh, water as clear as this. But you can you can see the bottom there. And, um, you know, we're very lucky to have this. Uh, this waterway here, I guess where the, where the ocean meets the, the river, it's, it's great. I just uh, come in and it, uh, it, it works as a washing machine, as a, as a cleansing action for the, for the river to keep it nice and clean. I'll see if I can get these swans again in a moment. Dogs cruising along, having, having a play. I know this guy out here, we'll go have a look. Boat out over there with their, their drop nets, doing a bit of crabbing. Swans, they're still in the sun over there. I don't think we've got them on on uh, on camera here for you, you folks. You got a flathead, eh? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're good. Are they? The best eating fish you can get. Really? Do you want it? No. <laughs> we found North and Calberry for a week, catch them a bit bigger than that, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do, but. Around? I don't know. I just came to try. Yeah. You ever been here? 
Yeah, I'll come down here a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, you know, we go here. Sometimes, I don't know, it's just, sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not here, you know? Yeah. Sometimes they're here and they're, they, they run, if you get them they'll be big though, this time of year. They'll be big. Oh yeah, if you you haven't got haven't got your nets in the water or your bait in the water, you've got no chance, have you? <laughs> no, anyway, it's a day. Uh, yeah, you might go all right. You might get a few. Perfect for it, you know. Oh, I'm sure you'll get a few. You'll get a few. Yeah, yeah, they get pretty big this time of year, so if you get them, you'll get, probably get three or four big ones, you know? Which is better than six small ones, you know? You won't need to measure them, I doubt it. Oh, there's still, still be a few small ones around, but, yeah. Um, fish like flathead. I don't think she's keeping it for bait somehow. I've got a feeling she's uh, uh, got a feeling she's going to eat that one. I, th I think she. I think she wants a feed. Uh, off a fishing boat, off a fishing car, or kayak I should say, rearing to go, let's go for a walk along here, we'll come back and see if that guy's got any crabs later. a glimpse of how clean the water is. It's beautiful.
don't know where those ones have gone. We might have them on video, I'll see. Look at these for boats. Absolutely brilliant boats. I think it's uh, time off a fishing invested in one. Still try to find the swans, but can't find any. Little baby magpie.
I walk down here a little bit, yeah. So, yeah, I walk down here a lot, but sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not here. But they're here, if they're here this time of the year, they're pretty big. Okay. Yeah. channel off that corner there. Yeah. Oh yeah. I might hold it on that long enough road. That might get a sick, you're going to have long roads out there. Yeah, no, so they won't let you on. Well, if you go there at night, I'll have the security guard there, mate. You won't get on. Does it come to And they do, and they're doing, they're doing repairs on it anyway. So they just say, sorry, get off because. Uh, it's not a bit, it's brand new and 
I understand there's no many parts in the parts in which goes there. Rest of it, fair enough. But you can park under it and look at it. Well, they're, what they're doing is they're selling the units of exclusive use of a jetty, which is wrong. Look, here he is. There's a video of this little guy, eh? Look at him, trying to get fed. Awesome. Aren't they? Look how close he is. Wow. He's just a young one? The swans were pretty friendly though on the. Yes. That means they're young, does it? Yes. You're not afraid, are they? They come here to get fed, and they get the. They're on the bank. I was uh, yeah. really close to one of them, probably probably one of it, one of his mates anyway. But well, just just people, last week, just that. People start feeding them. Yeah, they know. Because yeah. They keep coming. They keep coming to the same spot. Yes. Yeah. And of course, yeah, if people don't let to feed them. That's right. They get hand fed. Years ago, it was a block from down in Belmont, there was an old guy who used to have a sack of um, old bread and used to feed them. But I don't know if they're still there or not. <laughs> Sensational. They're beautiful, aren't they? But yeah, and I was, uh, they came right up onto the bank last week. I was having a cup of coffee with my friend of mine at the yacht club. And they just came came right up to the, because it's just almost like a dog getting a pat. Yeah, see the, where the body is? Yes, they're getting they're fed there. there. Yep. Yeah. They must give him a food there. Right at the boat, aren't they? Coming in for an afternoon feed. It is. There you go. Yeah. When it gets older, you can see the whole strip of white. A lot wider, okay. Who taught you that? How did you know that? Uh, because I'm living very close to Maritime. Okay. So, I've fishing for years there. And you see them? So, I've seen them many times there. Yeah. So, dolphins, you know, dolphins come in here. Oh, they come right to the shore, almost. Yeah, they come through there, chase, chase the mullet. Yeah. They 
Oh, they're going to have to. They're going in between the pylons under the jetty. Yeah, I just got back from fishing up in Kalbarri, so I, I like going up there for a big oh, tailor, yeah. you know, it's a bit hard to get enthused again down here. Well, if you're not sporting Kalbarri, uh, yeah. I've been fishing for years, so you have to go very, very tight and in the river. You get the boat, you get the air in boat, <laughs> you walk about uh, 20 minutes, you get the bank out, and then you pass in. And say, Across the other side of the uh, inside. No, no, not on the now. The other side. You know, going going inside the river. Yeah. Uh, is um, when you go with the boat, you know, you start getting shallow. Yeah. So you have to walk from here up to the post there. Yeah. So then start the motor again. Yeah. Because that's just getting deeper. Yes. And it's a place there. they call red rocks, is it? Yeah, up there. Yeah. Yeah, we fished there with my mate, not now, years ago. And uh, used to be beautiful big birds there. Yeah. But they say at night time, a lot of sympathy. They're running everywhere. Yeah, exactly. And mosquitoes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have the gas lamp and to yes. get the beef gun through my legs. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah. yeah. But we didn't uh, have any problem because we didn't touch them or anything, we just let them around. Yeah. But the broom are big, aren't they? They're great. They're great they fighting. They're big, yeah. Very big. Now, there's, um, there's a law, I think. I just read the book the other day. You only take six. Yeah, well, fair enough. That's enough. Yeah. But if, if you can get them, most of them is uh, 22, 23. Yeah. I've got a 41 centimetre up there about five or six years ago. I've got 50. Oh, did you really? <laughs> no, I didn't register. No. That's like a snapper. I, I, I thought there was a bloody mother. Yeah, you'd think it, yeah. And uh, when I got it very close and I thought, that snapper. I can't believe it. Yeah. When I brought him out, because it was dark, you know, I saw him like that. So you were, you weren't fishing in the boat then, you were at the side? I saw my boat. Yeah, but you weren't fishing in the boat. You were, you no, were, you, you get out there, don't you, and go and stand yeah. on the shore? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know where you are. No, it's, a, it's a few kilometres down the, down the river, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's a big bridge. Even here it's big. Yeah. Determined to fish for them. Uh, I know people can do it. Hardware and the game. Yeah. Cast them out there. But they would be. Years ago, I was in the world. I was in the world. I was in the world. Yeah. I was in the world. Yeah. I know we used to do as kids. Not anymore. Cobb and JD. Netherlands, for sure. Now, it's going to be Slowly getting better though now, slowly. At least the river's moving, fresh around here. It does, but uh, all I need is uh, to flush out. Yes. I remember when the river really get flush out, you know, really, you can see it is so brown. Yeah. Flush out about 50 kilometers there. After that, get a lot of fish on Yeah. Get a mullaway. You get a mullaway then? Yeah. Big bullet, you know, the whole lot. But those days we have a very dry and cheap. Yeah, I mean, those days are gone. And that's just a lot of people. A lot more people. I, I remember I used to fish on the Narrowsbridge. 
Nobody there. Nobody's fishing from the shore. Nobody. Not anymore. Uh, eight o'clock, you're dead. Mm. Absolutely dead, eight o'clock. And I fish up to eleven, eleven o'clock. Every second weekend, I used to catch it another way. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? You yeah. wouldn't get it now. You still get it now, but you're looking <laughs> one in hundred. It's a long wait. Yeah, no, exactly. It's, it's, one, <laughs> it's only the other way is they're moving two together. Right? Okay. Yeah. So to catch one, it's a possibility to catch another one. Yeah. But now, these days, you see, in that spot, for instance, you've got 20 people. Mm. So it's only two fish that can pass the tree. Yeah. So if you're lucky, you, one of them, one of you will probably catch it. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. But in 1968-69, Canyon Bridge, they used to produce stockies. Yeah. You know, which is... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how. Mm. Half a meter. There used to be a lot there. Uh, they're coming in. You know, not now. I don't know. See, climate's changed. Everything's you know. changed. Yeah. Uh, more people. I was born in 1969, so I know it was 40, 44 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Just a few years back. But yeah. you live in the narrowest place to get a, a, a seal, you know? A seal? A seal, yeah. I was fishing from the shore, nobody on the shore. I was myself, I had my rod there. And then I can see it. <laughs> so I was dolphin. And uh, suddenly, how it came, so fast, next to me, I was sitting there, he was still here, and he just came in along here to rest. <sighs> Boy! <laughs> he was you know, the big yeah, and the whiskers. Yeah. No, no whiskers. That's no whiskers. The teeth, the teeth inside of, you know, yeah. the teeth, you know, like. Yeah. Just ran back, you know, left everything broke, all off, and just waited three quarters of an hour. You go ahead again. You ever scared the fish off? <laughs> <laughs> no, really. No, because that night I put another way too. Uh, using. Um, Yeah. I didn't have it like that. So, yeah. I put a lot of my ways, but I spent hours and hours. You know, say for Dedication, it, yeah. Fishing from all the here, probably about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You get one, two runs. Yeah. And if you're lucky, yeah. You know, it's the same. It's the river, right? Yeah, sure. Then the harbour used to be good too. You know, uh, sheds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 They still get a few down there. Yeah, I used to have a fly. Yep. You know? Flying gas, yeah. But, uh, no. I used to go with my friend, but now he doesn't go anymore. You need the two people from that side, you know, to help. If you land the yeah, sure. Stingray? Oh. <laughs> it's big race, you know, just landing on the surface. That's the best. That's the line. Yeah, I was down at Hamlin Bay down in uh, between Augusta and Margaret River a few weeks back. There's some beautiful big stingrays there. You know, it's a sanctuary down there now. Well, stingrays have been a place, Yeah, sure. But the other way, if it's here, yeah. you know what line you You're going to know whether it's going to work or not, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, I usually hold it 25 pounds. Yes. Well, that's right. He's got a blowy over there, that guy. Plenty of blows. 
but that hasn't changed. There's still plenty of blowies around it in, during the day. Oh, it's a terrible one. Guys, look at that, they're talking. Well, I've never heard them make noise before. Yes. Making noise, I know. They're talking, saying, where's our fish? Yeah. Feed us now. It's 10 to 5, it's our, it's our dinner time. Yes. Sorry guys, we've got no food for you. You got a, a fish as well, are you?
Tabo's macro. Yeah. So like a, a family of sardines. Yeah, yeah. They're quite big, I think. So you should buy it because they're all born. Yeah. So it's a good time to catch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they come. All those slimy mackerel or whatever it is they call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. I've never heard the noises I made before. Sorry guys, no food, no food for you. Yeah, they're talking to us. 